Folks, we're in Antonito, Colorado, and we've got this little case IH 1020 grain platform that we're going to put up on auction time. And I'll start off by apologizing for the wind. The wind's blowing today. I'm trying to guard my mic so it doesn't pick up a lot of that. But if it does, I, I apologize, guys, because I know it's annoying to listen to. And maybe I'm annoying to listen to, though. But anyway, uh, we're including the little header trailer with it. So you're buying the header with the trailer it's sitting on, okay, guys? So you're getting the package deal. It is a 20-foot grain platform. It does look to be in pretty good shape, guys. There's some cosmetic damages out on the end right here. You can see that some of the shields out here on this left side are, are boogered up a little bit, but nothing too extraordinary. I didn't see the first time around anywhere that I'd seen where this header had been welded on. Uh, we're going to make another trip around it right now, and, and so if I pick something else up in the meantime, uh, I'll, I'll sure let you know. And, and I see from the serial plate, it's actually not a case IH, it's a JI case. So this is this is just a little case header, guys. So, But uh, I'm looking back here where your combine would attach to it, guys, and it looks like the throat coming into your, or excuse me, the where the header would attach to your throat of your combine. It looks pretty good, guys. It hasn't been all boogered up. I've seen some where they've been a little rough on it. Um, you can see you've got both of your drive shafts on the sides here, one on each side, so they're both intact. And you can see you've got your hydraulics right here to hook up to your combine. So uh, I think everything on the back side of this little header looks pretty good. And, and, uh, get down under here since we're done and check to make sure the other side of it is good as well. But I bet you Adam took pretty good care of this little header guy, so I bet it's good all the way around. Just show you across the top of the auger flighting right there, folks, I think it's pretty good. And if you look at the back side of the reel while we're back here, I looked at the reel, the reel uh, a couple times and I don't see any broken or missing teeth on that reel. Uh, if there is, I've just missed them. But there's, there's six bats on that reel, guys, and they look like they're good all the way around. I'll try to guard my phone so it doesn't pick up any more of the wind than we have to. So the, the header trailer, you guys can see that under Firth McCurdy. It is an HG12 model. It is adjustable. Um, if you look under here on the header trailer, guys, you can see where you can adjust that header trailer by pulling that pin. And it looks like it'll extend out a little bit more, but not a lot. It's, it's probably about as far out as it's going to go. Uh, maybe another foot or two is all that little header trailer has on it. The tires on the header trailer are pretty fair. They're, they're showing a little bit of age, but they're not wore out by any stretch, and they're not looking like they're ready to just explode in the sun. I did not see any missing guards or sections on the sickle. And if you guys can see right behind that down in there, hopefully you can. I, I think that Adam did a good job of keeping the sink cleaned out. There's a little bit of dirt and weeds that have blown up in there, but I think he did a good job of keeping the little header cleaned up. So again, a 20-footer... A 1020 case 20 foot grain platform we are going to include the little header trailer with it and so if you guys have any questions give us a holler and we'll be glad to answer them for you thank you for taking the time to look